Hello, one, welcome once more to our uh, Grom Brindle campaign. I'm here to tantalize your. Um, something? Maybe your ears, if you like my voice. If you do, you're a bit weird. I don't like it. But anyway, we're back here with uh, Grom Brindle, and we're gonna see if we can finish off taking over the plains down here. We've got a, got a lot of work ahead of us. So we're going to have to take Galbaraz at the right time so that we can uh, fight off the rest of him down here. So, that's okay though. We'll capture the rest of this. We'll pick up the pools of despair and capture these things and then we're going to start uh, giving him a right good CN2, as they say. I don't know who says it, but somebody somewhere does, I'm sure. Uh, he's done some of that. Uh, somebody raiding in Zandri. Ooh, okay. So they do have a Chaos Army still kicking around down here somewhere. Uh, construction Guild. Alrighty. So that was... One of the ones around here, I'm sure. Dwarven Diplomats. Let's see. Hero cost less. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hammers, long beards. We'll go for that one. So I think it was, yeah, that construction guild's what we got. So that's fine. Sword of Cain has been claimed. Lots of the followers have appeared. The White Dwarf. The White Dwarf. Not just a White Dwarf. The White Dwarf. So we're going to leave him there and we'll let him. Uh, replenish a little before he moves on. Now, that's... we're not at war with them, so we'll just uh, bypass them and go straight for the Caliph's Palace and we'll colonise that. And we'll actually let him get some replenishment before we go over to the Sorcerer's Island. He's levelled. Probably doesn't really have many points to spend anywhere. Actually, why am I? Uh, gives him some more health. Yeah, we'll give him some more. They're pretty low health, so it's fine. Revenge incarnate. Now let's see what we want to do with him for now. Isn't really much we can do with him where he is. Now uh, let's have a quick look and see who's hostile to Albany. Nagarond is. World Walkers are, of course. Clan Moors, of course, is. Hemri is slowly becoming more hostile. I don't really see what's happening over in the far west across there, though. I don't even. I haven't even met the elves yet. Now maybe it's time to start doing that. Or we can start fighting Tilly. So, who are they currently at war with? What sort of... Okay, I've actually got quite a friendship with all of them, so that's going to take a bit of time to sort out. So, I think what we'll do is we'll leave Karak Ezor for now, and we might send him off to the sea. And this boy up here can hold on to things around here, I'm sure. While we do this, we might we'll send him as a scout. Okay, you, you my friend. Let's head you this way, see if we can find out where this Chaos Army is. You might, we might head that way as well, but we're not going to be able to... Now, we actually should be able to really see where it is. That should be it there, because the... Oh, no. It's all of those ones seem to have the fires around them. Oh, well, just have to go in blind and see if we can find it. So, Bel Aliad, we've only got that one. We haven't got the Pools of Despair yet. Uh, 
Smith with a level. You've become immortal. Well done. Uh, I do kind of want to start a fight with the Empire as well. See if I can actually finally take over this area. But I've really got to continue with the original goal of uh, getting all the dwarves under my uh, power. Okay, we're at turn 200. Let's have a quick look at what our objectives say. So we'll go for, we'll have a look at the short objectives. Okay, so we do need to go to war with the Empire to be able to get rid of that. So that's a bit of a bugger. Uh, yeah, all that. So we're pretty much covering it, to be honest. It's it's literally the... So I've got that one. Uh, unite the following dwarf soul directly. Okay, so I haven't got Karakurn or Migdal Vongleback or Blackstone Post. Karak Ziflin. Hmm. Fighting Bretonia is actually always an option as well. Of course, now that I'm sending Belagar elsewhere. About you. How are you doing, Karakan? Oh, okay, we can't do that right now. Yet yeah, there's still another three turns on the Confederation timer. Let us begin. Okay, you were already building that. Build that. Let's have a look at what else we can build. Nothing. Let's see what armies we might have about the place. That here. So I haven't been building any armies around here. That's okay. But I do actually have quite a lot in the north here. Because I've got those two. So the Empire is a real problem up here. Yeah, I think we'll go, we'll go hit Nagaroth and see what we find over there anyway. I haven't fought Dark Elves with Dwarves before, so that should be pretty interesting. For me, at least. For everyone else, uh, who knows? Uh, capture the moot, yep. And Puppets of Chaos. Okay, so he's there. It is time. Well, we'll hunt him down. Greetings, Bring him Andrew. before... A council of his betters. Okay, so I actually don't have any peace treaties with uh, Bretonia. So going to war with them is definitely a possibility. So what we could do is we can have a war in the south with the Tomb Kings, we can have a war in the west with Bretonia, and we can have a war with Nagarond. I mean, we're working on wiping out the Norskins at the moment. But that's honestly not a very, very difficult task. Ah, uh, bastard. So we lose Zandri. Well, we have to get that back. So that's another grudge. For the wisdom of Valaya, that's our distance here. Grudges will be settled. So I don't want to take attrition, so we'll camp. For now, we'll have to abandon our sit out outside Galbaraz and we'll head this way as well. Okay, so we still have Hemri. And it looks like we can build a lot of stuff there, so we'll do that now while I'm here. That building in, we're probably going to need a construction building somewhere to be able to recruit down here as well. Okay, now you, my friend. 
obdurate was a cover Sort that out. It's enough replenishment for now. Continue his way. Now, since we're looking at fighting Bretonia, I'm actually going to now turn him around. And we'll go up north. Well, the best thing to do is set up our, our fights with Bretonia. So he's at war with uh, she, or them. The Bretonians are at war with the Wood Elves, so I think that's actually a good opportunity for us there. So we can use them to actually join the war, join the war they have currently against the Bretonians. Uh, yep, ancestral grudges, I guess, for him. Southern Grey Mountains. Oh, yep. Let's put up some walls. Get that all going. Uh, yep. More anvil. More anvil. Uh, anything else in Zufba? Nope. Uh, land of Assassins. Give you the growth building. Southern Badlands. We are on quite a bit less money now. Which is a bummer. But. We should be able to sort out a fair bit of that. Once we start taking some of these uh, cities out here that Bretonia currently has. We, I think I want my first target to be uh, Karak Ziflin. Karak Ziflin, was that actually on the Karakang? Oh, yeah, Blackstone Post and Karak Ziflin are on there. Grung Zint isn't though. some stage I really should do some of those quest battles. Alright, we've got our targets, so we're good. We're good at the moment. He's going to uh, hunt down this Chaos Army and slaughter them like the pigs they are. Hopefully. That's a pretty nasty army. Oh. We'll see what happens. You summon. Oh crap, there's also a uh, Chaos Army there. So that's going to put a bit of an onion in the ointment here. So they still have Chaos Armies to fight. And I'm probably going to lose some more of these cities down here. Because they're really nothing so far. They've only just been... Um, ...recolonised, so... It's going to make it a little difficult, but... I think we'll, we'll, we'll make it through. We'll push through and we'll uh, try and sort them out. Don't like that Astalia has decided to come down here and join us though. Uh, no, we're going to back off from that one. Hopefully we can at least. Oh yep, he's gone off up there. That other smaller army stayed down here. Uh, give it to the opposing clan. And he's gone insane, but that's okay. Okay, let's... Let's start with... See if we can get rid of that hero. Nope. And now let's go through our various... Various things. Let's uh, be... That's fine. Our enemy shall tremble. Actually, so we're going to put him on, get him some replenishment while we get Thorgrim over here. Then we're going to head across to the other continent. We can leap across there, so that'll be good. Uh, you're another Master Engineer, so we'll give you Missile Range. And we'll keep you heading this way. Uh, you, we can be scouting. True king of eight peaks. Moving out. Master of Runefra. Like an Aldor Kandoom. Yes. 
He can doom. Oh, okay, that's right. Gave him two go. Stupid AI. Oh yeah, he needs to have more range. Oh, he doesn't. He just doesn't. Uh, like a bam. Really? I, I, disag I disagree quite heavily with that. It's, that. it's a bunch of slow infantry. Let's uh, let's fight this one out then. I've got my organ gun, so quarrel quarrelers aren't actually particularly useful in this particular battle. I got to admit, but I, I don't really see that there being a problem here. Neither does the rabbit. He's decided he's going to sleep through this particular fight. I mean, I've taken a fair bit of attrition here, but... This shouldn't really be too big a deal. Alright. You and you need to be up near the front. Or up at the front, really. See if we can take on that lord. So I might put him near the back, just in case. And here we go, organ guns and flame cannon, ready to take a toll on the enemy. He goes flying around as well. He can get to shooting. Shouldn't have actually used that yet now that I think about it. Oh. That should be replenishing as well. Well, that wasn't very good. Flame cannon. How about fire at that chosen instead? Shooting. Aim for the exalted hero. Organ gunner. We fire on your command. We oh, yep. Head into him. These back units get crush them up a bit. Yeah, the quarrelers aren't getting a lot of kills here. Didn't really think they would. Okay there, not so well over here. Alright, you guys are going to have to stop shooting for the moment because you're going to destroy our own units, we don't want that. Get him back into that exalted hero. Yeah, you keep shooting there, that's good. You packs them. Ah, get into combat. Get him. Yeah, we're not doing too great there, but our hero is, uh, well, that lord is going down. 
Oh, he shattered, that's not good. He's broken, that's good. You keep shooting at him. Keep it him, keep it him, we want him down. Come on, you can do it. Get that runesmith back in. Still 724 health. Keep shooting at him anyway, we want him actually gone, I think. Oh no, maybe we don't. Let's uh... We know they're out of range of our units, let's get the... Make sure we do plenty of damage to these units as they flee. Oh, you. You especially. Get out over there. They still have far too many in that unit, I think. That's better. Right, you got rage fire, that's good. You should still be at yeah, liquid fortification, he is getting him back up some, so we'll let that keep happening. These chosen really are tough bastards, aren't they? They're still in range, they're not really in range of them anymore, I think. Is what is their range? How did that actually do? 72. That actually did really badly, so I must be I must have placed that one badly, I think. Yeah. They're actually uh, encumbering each other. I didn't notice, so. So that definitely could have gone better. 310 losses. Yeah, it's not bad. They lost more, but if we actually had Thunderers in this army, then that would have been uh, there would have been a lot more dead uh, Chaos Boys. Finish them off. There we go. Let's actually force march him back this way. So we'll get him back to Bel Aliad for some uh, replenishment. Now I'll hike. All of that can still be targeted by him, unfortunately, but we'll do what we can. That is one of the grudges out of the book. Vengeful Rune Lord. Uh, I don't think we've really got enough replenishment down here at the moment. I don't think there's any yeah, any replenishment I've already gotten, so... Yeah, we've got to the end of the Royal Guard. I don't really use hammers. Uh, let's see, let's see. Hero action cost my We're up to 633%. Now, uh, there's really nothing else that I... Let's just grab some of these single turns and it'll get us through. Uh, you did quite well. Uh, 
give you better garage sales and organ guns and hopefully we can do something with them next time. Do something better with them at least. He did quite well. He actually sh uh, took a lot of health off of that Lord. I think missile damage is better. Oh, we can get both. Why not both? Alright. Building, building, building. What do we have? Peak pass. That's good. Land of the dead. Camry will be hard to take, so that's a nice little uh, spot for us here. So, so the wharf down here is going to be a little bit spicy still. Not going to have just my own way, it seems. Armed and ready. Uh, maybe it's time to go over there. We're still getting replenishment. Massive or cool. Ah, excellent. You've got your walls now. So we get those up. Armed and ready. Jump over there next turn. I think we'll hit Blackstone Post. Oh, Blackstone Post is pretty low level. I still want both of them anyway, so it's not going to really matter too much. Gonna have to kill a lot of things still. Rabbit still approves by sleeping. Does like to do that. Like his favouritest thing. Hopefully I'm not going to be coughing and everything fluttering too much in this episode or the next. Um, it's a... Uh, Quite a smoky place, Australia, at the moment, and now the city here has been particularly choked with smoke. It's nowhere near as the bad as the towns that have been choked with fire and uh, deaths and that sort of thing. So not a very cool thing at all. Um, but the fire is doing a brilliant job, um, and they're doing their absolute best to um, get everyone out safely. So, which is. Very, very good. Garage issue defeat M. Alrighty. Uh, we'll still stick with Grimnir's strength. That's what I've been using, I think. Yeah. Stick with that. Better relations with the High Elves and the men. Thane's authority, I guess. Hmm. We're about to have a... Onward. About to have a rebellion over that way. You go after him. You continue as you are as well. Maybe I can't jump across there. What? You know who I am. Well, he can. Forward. So we'll do that with him at least. Harrick Ironbeard. You can make it to Sorcerer's Island, so we will quickly colonize that as well. Once these are all actually properly up and running. Some of these provinces should actually get us a decent amount of money. And now we jump over this way and we can start looking at Blackstone Post next turn. Our commandment. Commandment for down here is going to be growth. Imminent rebellion, there is nothing we can do. He's probably going to blow this city up anyway. And knowing those bastards, I'll probably try to decide to take it over straight away. But we'll see what happens. See what happens. So that's where we're going to leave it with this particular episode. Uh, if you've uh, enjoyed what you've seen here, do the usual liking and subscribing. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll be uh, keen for the next one. Until then, ciao for now.